Okay, hello, so I'm going to be making a, just a quick video ranking all of my skins that I've gained over the years. So I might have to do it into two sections because I have quite a lot. So I'm going to start with the basketball. So this is just the basic purple basketball and it doesn't really have anything special about it so I'm gonna go put it in in that section and same with the blue one nothing special just basic so I can sit right next to that. Okay. The next one is the NBA basketball. So this one's a bit more detailed. It's got a little NBA logo on the top. So although it was free, I'm going to put it on a different. Okay. The next one is the a pride basketball. So this one's quite good because it's got a lot of different colors, and it's it's a nice ball to use. I see people people using it quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the range. Okay. Next one is the cozy basketball. So this one, in my personal in my personal opinion, I think is ugly. I don't like it. It's just got a really weird look to it. And with the the green parts going across it, I just don't like how it looks, so I can go sit next to these other ones down here. Okay, the next one is the Coach Select Ball. So, for this one, this is probably my favourite one. I like how it's got the Coach Select around the whole thing of it. I don't know if you can see that. And the Coach Signature 1987. I think it's just a nice ball in general. So I'm going to go put this on S rank. It doesn't fall off. And then the last one is the fashion basketball. This one's a really nice one. It's got like, lots of nice gold stuff from the chair badges and high fives. Some ping pong paddles. And, yeah, I like this one quite a bit, so I'm going to put this one on mm. I'll put it on S rank as well. Okay, so, next we will go with... Mm. We'll go with frisbees. Okay. So the first one is the laser disc. This one's pretty cool, see-through. I've got a nice pattern around it, like a nice neon part around the back. So I like this one quite a lot. It's probably one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to put this one in a rank the next one with the coach select disc so this one Okay, next I'll go with the 
purchase a light disc. They're, while this one is nice, it's just kind of a basic design. And also, I do normally like that about skins. This one just doesn't really do it for me. Again, the coach signature, all that stuff. It's a nice skin, but I think I'm gonna put it in B rank. Okay. And the last one I have. Last one I have is the wooden one. This one I like quite a lot because this one is basic and it does work for me. I like the golden part that goes around the end and the nice simple symbol in the middle. So this one can go with the other disc in the rank. Alright. The next one I'll go with is bucket skins. Okay, so the first bucket skin, this was just released a little while ago, and you can still get it for 2,000 tokens. This one I like to call the Isle of Lost Skulls bucket. So, yeah, nothing too special about it. It looks alright, but I think I'm going to put it next to the NBA one in C rank. And then, for the next one, we have the Bat Bucket. This one's quite cool. I like the little crescendo reference they've got on here with the bat, linking to Batman, and then Gotham City in the back. It's a, it's a nice simple skin, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to put this one in D rank. Okay, now the next, next one is the Fashion Bucket. It's quite a nice skin. It's got a little Rec Room logo in the middle. And again, I, I like how they've done it with the different things, but I don't think I like how they've changed it to the brown instead of the white because that one looks it doesn't look as clean so for this one i'm gonna put this one in a rank and the last one is the sci-fi bucket this one is my favorite one by a long way because I spent a while getting it as well. It's got a nice symbol on the bottom, and I like the colours, because blue is my favourite colour, and this is a colour called Yinmin Blue, it's named after my name. That's why I really like this bucket, so, in my personal opinion, I'm going to plop it up at S+. Plus. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is paint burst rifles. Okay, for the first one, I'm going to go with the PlayStation Plus one that you can get for free, just by having PlayStation Plus. And, yep, pretty basic skin. Got nice purple bits here, and on the crosshair, little black textures everywhere. But I don't like, I don't like the part at the back, how they've made it, like, chrome. So I'm going to chuck this one down in C rank. U rank, even. <laughs> okay. For the next one, we'll go with the... Okay, for the next one, we will go with the Ghost AR. This one's pretty cool. 
I like it quite a bit. I like how it's see-through and it's got the rec from logo on the top with the nails in. I quite like this one. This is one of the best ones. But still does not compare to the other ones that I use. So I'm gonna put this one in E rank. Okay. For the next one. We will use the pirate one. This one's one of my favorite ones to use. Because it's got the pirate logo on, and I quite like playing Isle. I also like the texture it's got. Yeah, other than that, it's a reasonably basic skin. I like. I do like what they've done with it, but... I like the other ones more, so I'm going to put this one in an A rank. Next one we'll go with is the wooden one. So with this one, I do not see this one much at all. Good and pretty rare. But it's just not that significant. It's a pretty boring design. They just added on from the pirate one which looks better. So I'm gonna put this one in C-Rank. Okay, the, ne the next one we have is the, the played one. The played. This one was one of the first ones that I got. On this game and I do like it quite a bit. I quite like the plate skin but again isn't really that much to it so I'm gonna pop it next to the D ring one. Okay. The last one, which is my favourite one, is the full first rifle. I like what they've done with it. They've made this into autumn leaves and this into dirt. I like using this quite a lot because it matches really well with the theme for Click, I think it is. I don't know what it's called. I don't play paintball very much. But that's the reason I like this one because it matches really nice with that. So I'm going to put this one in this rink. Okay, go with shields next. Okay, for the first shield, we've got the basic purple one. Nothing really to do with anything. Pretty basic beginner one for all the new players. So I'm going to go put this one down here as well. In the U section. Alright. Next is the wooden shield skin. Quite basic. Again, not really that much. Pretty recent shield. I think it was released last time in 2022. So I'm going to put this one in D rank. Alright. Next one, we will do the pirate one. So although this one hasn't been, I don't see it very much. Again, it's not that good compared to the other one. I do, I do quite like the pirate all over it, but yeah, it's still very good, but. I think I'm going to place this one in a B rank. Okay. Then the last one I have is the Cyber Sunset Shield Skin. This one is definitely my favorite. Got a very nice lit up shield skin here. So I'm going to put this one in S rank. 
Okay, next we will go on to rifles. Okay, so the first rifle is the pink one. So this one is pretty basic. Nothing that special about it. I like how they've taken the pink and put it white at the bottom. Made it look a bit better, but again, pretty basic, pretty average. But I'm gonna put it in here. Yeah. Okay. The next one is the plaid one. The plaid, it looks better than the pink, but still doesn't mean it looks good. I personally don't like this. I'd like to hear your comments about everything. But, for me, this one doesn't look very nice either, so I'm going to put this one at the bottom as well. Next is the Caution one. So, Caution Railgun, it looks alright, but, you know, Caution is just a basic print onto the Railgun. It's not unique, there's a lot of caution skins we'll go through. So I'm gonna put this one in C rank. Okay. Next is the Galaxy one. This one, pretty cool design. I I think I'd like to see some more Galaxy weapons coming out. Because I think it's a nice design for just the railgun, because a lot of the laser weapons are evolved around space, so I think this will be a cool one to see a lot of other things like the laser pistol or the laser burst rifle. So I'm going to put this one in a B rank. Alright, and the last one I have is the lifeguard rifle. This one is definitely my favourite, looks really nice, I like using it, so yeah, not really much to say about it, but I like that it's a bit more basic because it works well, I like the red and white that go along with it. Yeah, so I'm going to put this one in an A ring. Okay. The next we'll go with will be laser pistols. Okay, so the first one we'll go with will be the galaxy one. If I'm being completely honest, I didn't even remember having this, but I think it looks alright. It's quite a nice one to have. I like how they've added it to the crosshair as well, with the galaxy film theme, <laughs> which yeah, looks pretty nice, so I'm going to put this one in a B rank with the other one. Alright, next, I'm going to go with the purple plaid, this one looks quite nice. However, they have kind of botched it up at the top here, with not adding purple plain and just making it purple. So I, f I think, oh, they've also done it here, with the trigger. So, although I wouldn't normally notice that, I think that's kind of annoying, so I'm going to put it down here as well. With these. The next one I'll go with will be the, the Rakaso pistol. With this, although it wouldn't normally be like this, I do like the way that they've added it on the lighting as well. They've also not messed up on the trigger or the crosshair, and I like the design just in general for the laser pistol. 
and they like laser tag quite a lot. So I'm gonna put this one in C rank. Okay. The next one we'll go with we'll go with the candy one. This one, I don't know what it is about it, but I really like the simplistic design that they've done on it. Makes it look nice. So I'm gonna put this one up in the S rank. Okay. The next one we'll go with the Frankenstein one. So this one is quite nice. I like the way that they've made the nails pop out of it on each side. And I just like the general design of it. So I'm going to put this in I'll put it in B rank. Yeah. I'm doing a video. It's a weekend. Yeah, I'll be off. I'll be like half an hour maybe. Okay, so the next. For fuck. What? I will, obviously. Okay, so the next one will go with the fashion pistol. This pistol's really nice. I quite like the silver that they've added on the back. I like how it make they make it glow at the back. And I quite like fashion skins in general. Yeah. Nice skin. I use it quite a bit. Silver looks nice on here and at the end here. So I'm gonna put this on A rank. Alright, and the last pistol. Definitely not saving the best for last. Got the pink pistol. And although I don't like it very much. It definitely looks better than the real gun, so I'm gonna put it next to the Picasso one in a C rank. Alright, the next one we'll go for, we'll do the wand. And we'll go with the caution wand. This one is a lot better than the normal caution ones because I really like how they've added warning at the top here and they've made it they've put caution on here this is a lot better than the other cautions as i've said and yeah i i like this one quite a lot so i'm gonna put this in b rank okay the next one we'll do the jack frost one so in my opinion, I think it does look cool, and I like how they've added snow on it, and the snowflakes at the end. But other than that, it doesn't look very nice. It looks pretty normal. It looks like something you'd get for free. So I'm going to plop this one down at a C rank. Alright, the next one, we'll go with the green played one. So this one, I do like how they've changed the wood into a different kind of wood. But other than that, again, they haven't done it very much. Although I don't like the green, rather than the other colours, it's not very good, it's not a nice one, so I'm going to put it down 
back here on the floor. Alright. The next one will do the Mer Wand. This one is quite nice. Obviously, the key one is the giant trident they have down the middle. But I also like how they've added shells over the coral on here. So this one, quite nice. Although they've done, they've re-released it a couple times, I think I'm gonna plop it up in the A rank section. All right, next one is the butterfly one. This one's quite nice. I like how they've added the Rakram Plus butterfly wings on here. And I like the neon part on here. And I quite like the neon part that goes up the stick as well. So I'm going to put this one in a B rank with the other caution. Alright, and then the last one is the Star Wand. This one can could have been purchased at Halloween in 2019, and I do believe that they re-released it. It was 2,000 tokens, and it came out with the the normal, the first witch, not the green witch bundle. The bundle, just as a 2,000 token item. And this one's my favorite one. I really like it. It looks cool. Matches with black scallywag, which is what I like to wear when I'm doing crimson. So I'm going to put this one up in S rank. Okay, and sorry, I missed this. It's the ghost wand. Again, cool. D3. Looks pretty nice. With the chain on the back. Makes it look like it's a part of a phantom. I don't know why I missed this, but... I quite like this one, so I'm going to put it in an S rank with the other one. Okay, now we'll do Hunter's Crossbows. For the first one, we will go with the Valentine's Day one. This one is really nice. I like the cool design they've done on it. They also added a little imprint close towards it. A lot of gold around it. This cool part that they've only added to this crossbow, where they've added it here. Then obviously the the part on here, the rows, the leaves. All in all, very nice crossbow skin. So I'm gonna put this one in A rank. Okay. The next one. We will do the green plane one. So for this one, pretty basic crossbow. I do like that they added it on the trigger here, although it is a tiny bit different in color. Again, no special part on the bottom here. So I'm going to give this one an you sit next to the other green plane one. All right. The next one we'll do will be the Caution one. Again, Caution isn't that cool. I do like the Golden Trophy thing that they've done at the bottom here. But, it's a pretty basic skin. So I'm going to put this in C-Rank. Alright. The next one I will do will be the, the Stone Crossbow, Stone Hunter's Crossbow. So this one is pretty basic, I think it was released in 2019. I like that they've made it rusty at the bottom and added this part on the bottom as well. They've kept the stone throughout the entire thing going with the moss as well. All in all. Pretty good crossbow, so I'm going to put it in B rank. Okay, next one, and the last one, which is my personal favorite, the shark crossbow. So I like this one because of the obvious shark here, 
the shark face. I think it looks really cool. So I'm gonna put this one up in this rank. Okay, we'll go with the normal crossbows now. Okay, the first one we'll go with will be the the spring dryad one. So for most of these, they're pretty basic. They've just got the vines going around it and the little flowers on it. So yeah, a nice one to use if you don't have any other crossbow skins, but for me, I'm going to put it in the Q section. Next one, we'll use this Brad skin. I don't know what it is, but again, pretty basic, just vines, a dark oak, oak theme, different color flowers, but again, pretty basic, so this can go in here as well. Uh, just like Deja Vu, the other one, tiny bit different, different flowers. Don't know why they'd release different version of these for the weeklies, but they did, so I got them. But pretty basic, not very flashy, doesn't look that nice. So this can also go in here with the other one. And the next one is the only dryad that I, one that I like, which is the winter dryad one. The reason I like this one is because the, the wood looks better and they have snowflakes instead. So yeah, pretty cool. I like it quite a bit. But this one still only gets a C rank. Okay, next one. We will go with the portion crossbow. The only part I like about this is how it goes diagonally down on here. But other than that, pretty basic. They don't even have the golden trophy crown part on here. So that takes it away even more. This one can go in C rank with the other Huntress crossbow. Right, next. We'll go with the stone crossbow. This one, pretty basic. Just got released last year. And I quite like the rust on it, but other than that, doesn't really have much going for it. So, I'm going to put this one in a C rank. Okay. Next one. One of my more favorite ones is the waves crossbow this one is probably one of my favorites i'd say it's my second favorite crossbow and that's because mm -hmm. it looks really nice going down the end with the waves it looks like something you'd see in japan so yeah i'm gonna put this one up in s rank Okay, next one, got the fashion crossbow, so this one, quite nice, got some nice fashion stuff around it again, but yeah, quite like this one, like the silver vibe they've got going on around it over here, so I'm going to put this one in an A ring. Alright, next one, we'll go with the Ricasso one. I quite like this one, but pretty basic. Doesn't look that nice on the crossbow as it does on the laser pistol. So I'm going to put this one in C rank. Alright, now my absolute favorite crossbow. Bones one, the skeleton one. This one looks really nice because one, it has the bone sticking out. 
it looks like a rib cage down the side and the skeleton on the front the bones on the side as well all in all a very very nice skin so i'm gonna put this one up in s plus all right and grenade launchers we've got the comic one this one i quite like it's got the blammo on the side quite like the design on it all in all nice skin nice design i'm gonna put this one in e rank all right next one let's go with the wooden one this one's quite nice i like the design they've done on it but still quite basic doesn't have much on it i like the only thing that's nice about it is the gold parts they've got on it over here and on trigger so i'm gonna put this one in d rank next one we'll go with the gingerbread one gingerbread launcher very nice skin the candy reference all over it and obviously <laughs> the gingerbread that they've got on it i personally like this skin quite a lot so i'm gonna put it up at strength okay next one we'll go with the caution grenade launcher again basic doesn't have much going on around it i don't like how they've squared it off instead of going diagonally for this part so i'm gonna put this one in you all right next one oh, not that. we'll go with the play grenade launcher so this one is quite nice with this one they've gone diagonally across on here i do like that about it it's got quite a lot of nice design around it but still quite basic so i'm going to put this one in c rank as well okay next we'll go with the easter egg launcher this one in my opinion very very nice good skin i like the dots they've done around it and the different colors i think it's quite a nice skin so i'm gonna put it in a rank all right and the last but definitely not least is my favorite one that they've got it's the b one I like the bee that they've got down here. I like the honeycomb effect they've got on here. The honey inside as the ammo. Really, really nice skin. So I'm going to put this one in S+. Plus. All right, it's getting quite full, so I'm going to delete these, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now that we've done with that part, and all the weapons are deleted, we are going to go on to the burst rifles. First, we'll go with the caution. Basic one. But I do like how they've done it diagonally down the side, over here, instead of just straight on. So I'll put this one in D rank. Okay. Next, we'll go with the purple plate. This one looks better than the rail gun, in my opinion. The only bad thing is about the crosshair. They've done it wrong here, but also they've made the purple go along here, which I find quite weird and don't understand why. So I'm going to put this one 
in you. Okay, next one. Go with the birch one. Birch, burst rifle. Quite a nice skin, a nice basic design going across it. I like how they've added the inside of the birch wood as well as the outside of the birch wood. They've then added a mix of both on here and going across here. So I will put this one as a B rank. Next, we'll go with the my personal favorite burst rifle, the zombie. This one's really cool. I like how they've done it, like how you would have the zombie's head here. They've got the nails going across here, which I find really cool. The stitches across the brain, and then another part here. Then obviously the zombie part here, and a nice cool part of neon at the bottom. So for this one, I'm going to put this in an S ring. Okay, and then for the Ricasso one, pretty nice. Basic design though, isn't much you can say about it. No one goes, oh, Ricasso skin, nice. At least I wouldn't. <laughs> so I'm going to put this along with the C rank one down here. Alright, the next one we'll do, we will do laser shotgun. So the first one, we'll go with the pink shotgun. This one, I actually quite like compared to the other ones, because, I don't know, I think it just looks nice. The reloading, purple inside. Nice design, nice weapon. I'll put it on a C rank. Alright, next one, we'll go with the, the shamrock one, really nice design, I like the rainbow they have on the, on there, nice shamrock across, they got the rainbow on the trigger as well, which I didn't notice before, gold across here for, you know, pot of gold, obviously, three leaf clovers, quite nice, going across. Nice gun, pretty good, nice design, I'll put it in A rank. Okay, next, we'll go with the purple plaid. So this one, basic design, not very nice in my opinion, just a basic shotgun. Again, with them not adding texture to the part down there, just colouring it differently. So I'm going to put this down with this one down here, in the U section. Alright, next one, the Galaxy Shotgun. This one, although it was a weekly skin, people actually got it for free because of how they glitched the weekly out, so anyone that didn't do it, and anyone who did do it, both got the weekly, as long as they played once during that week. So yeah, pretty annoyed at that, but hey -ho. Other than that, pretty nice weapon. Only dislike is how they've coloured this white and not made it galaxy. Don't really understand that, but... Decent skin. I'll put it in C rank as well. Next one we have is the... Pumpkin shotgun. This one, nice skin. I quite like it. Like how they've made the green on the inside of the ammo pack. And green on here. Gives it a nice kind of vibe. Yeah, other than that, no shotgun. No complaints. I'll put this one up with the other Halloween one. In S rank. And next, we have the heart shotgun. I like how they've made it pixelated. If they made the pixelate in pixel inside of it, it looked like the Minecraft heart, which I quite like. But yeah, nice one. 
I like it. Doesn't have the part on the inside as the other ones do. But other than that, yeah, quite a nice shotgun. I'm gonna put it in a rank with the shamrock one. How about we just go to the normal shotguns now? Okay, so the first one will do the most recent one that they've added. So, while I know it does look unique, and it's got the part at the end, like how a cactus grows, from dirt, green, upwards, and then the little flower on the side, I think it is quite an interesting and a nice design, but something about it just doesn't look right to me, because of how I normally see them. It doesn't look nice with it going outwards. So I'm going to put this one up, or should I say down? in the U section. Alright, next one. We got the played one. Played shotgun. Pretty good. Decent shotgun. I quite like the played stuff that they have all over it. So yeah. Looks alright. I'm gonna put it in C rank. Okay. Oh I did forget that one. Caution shotgun, nothing to look at. <laughs> Just put that down there. Ugly. Ugly shotgun, don't like it. Oh, as we're talking about ugly shotguns, we got this one. Not very nice watermelon shotgun. I don't like it, don't know about you, but... Eh. But, because... Because it's kind of old, I'm going to put it in C rank as well. Alright. The Caution Paintball Shotgun, however. I quite like this skin. It looks alright. It's quite nice and simple because you don't see much of, of the Caution as the actual normal barrel. Kind of looks like, an, like something you'd use like in real life.